Oh, shoot. What's this up? God. Bye, man. Betty, it's the lunar seventh month right now and here at All Right, we'll be investigating the haunted roads of Singapore for their safety and supernatural inhabitants. In this episode, we'll be exploring the Chua Chu Kang Cemetery. It's a thrill seeker's dream as well as one we just couldn't leave out. With the surrounding cemeteries, it's clear why this area is rumoured to be unclean. Rumours swirl about taxi drivers picking up passengers who are not human. Right now, we are driving down Lim Chu Kang Road. It's a really straight, long road and it's really wide. The reason why it's so wide is because this is used as an emergency airstrip for our military purposes. I can see why people are very tempted to speed here, but I would advise you not to because I spotted a camera. Okay guys, we are approaching the infamous junction where drivers see people in the back seat when they have no passengers. It's pretty spooky. Okay, right now we are gonna go to the cemetery. I'm a little bit scared. Hopefully we don't see anything that we are not supposed to. <sighs> Guys, are you ready? I'm not, but I still gonna turn. Whoa, it's super dark, guys. Okay, so you are gonna need your high beam, definitely. <sighs> okay. stretch and um, all you brave souls who really want to drive through here the road is really really narrow it's just enough for like two cars to pass and it's super dark with high beam on you still can't see much further it's like a rear view mirror and your side view mirrors are completely useless because you cannot see anything at all so you're gonna want to be very careful in case there are people or I don't know what other things there are. Treats definitely eerie. So yes, I'm a little bit freaked out. Just looks like I'm going through a very, very dark long path. I don't even know what's in front and where is it gonna end. Yeah, I'm pretty sure later my sound man is gonna say I'm speaking very softly. But I scared lah, I help lah. And it feels like I should whisper, I don't know. It's just a feeling, you know, you don't really want to be very loud. Am I starting to jibber? Like, speak gibberish already. I I'm, I'm pretty spooked out because you don't see anything much except for like silhouettes of trees. Oh my god, we see cyclists here. Brave souls. It's so dark. Like, how am I going to see the road? Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, oh, there are dogs here, guys. So really slow down. Okay, I guess we're on our way out. It's not a good place to be driving alone. Definitely not. Not that I need any company from anything else. Okay, I better stop speaking. I just felt like a chill down my spine, guys. Okay, 
please don't tell me I'm lost because there's a whole lot of lanes and everything I don't want to be lost it's like not a place that you want to be lost at right right great I see street lights civilization I am back and I am out <gasps> Out. I am out safely in one piece. Okay, I feel so relieved right now. I don't think you guys know how I feel. I wouldn't recommend driving into the cemetery alone if you're weak-hearted. It's the scariest drive I've ever had to drive. It was really spooky in there. It's, it's a fight between you and yourself. So we've come to the end of this really eerie episode. Let us know about your own spooky driving experiences down in the comment section below. And I hope you guys can still see me the next episode. Bye!